Okay, so we are headed into Azalea. This is located in Rockland, um, West Rockland 95765. Um, this neighborhood I do really like. As you come in, there are two entrances off of Blue Oaks. Uh, and these houses are a little more congested and as you get deeper into the neighborhood, they have a little bit more space. Uh, so this particular area I like. Um, there's about 125 homes in this uh, little community in here. There are no uh, gates or or anything like that, um, but you can get in two different entrances, both on the same side. Uh, and as you can see, house is a little more space. What I like most about this neighborhood is there are, are two, I would say there's about 125 houses, but almost half of them have, uh, have views. And when I say views, we're not talking about like high up views. About half of them have a green belt behind them. So you do have some views. The, the average, uh, the, these houses are going to range from, you know, like 1600 on the smaller end, uh, you know, all the way up to, uh, you know, 35, 3600. There's one big floor plan. Uh, and what's great about these is you have the green belts, you have, some of them have large lots, a lot of them have pools. And so I, I just like being in the city, but then having a little bit of a view is kind of nice. Um, price range for these houses is going to be about high 600,000s to uh, to about uh, just shy of a million. So Camellia Circle, great views over there. Basically kind of backs up to Kathy Lund Park. So you got Kathy Lund Park on one side uh, and actually some houses here towards the end of the street sold in that upper almost a million range. A couple of them at the end of uh, at the court here. But you have a Kathy Lund Park on one side, and then you have uh, Blue Oaks on the other side. If you cross over Blue Oaks, you have another great park. Uh, and then you have uh, the school on this side. So you're usually you're going to be zoned for Rucala uh, Elementary School. Now, don't quote me on that. Go ahead and check your sources, but it should be Rucala, and then it should be uh, Springview Middle School and uh, Whitney High School, I believe. Um, but yeah, lot, lots of great houses here, uh, lots of good options if you do want something with a little bit of a yard. Uh, just south would be Cressley Springs. I have another neighbor or two if you want to check that out. Cressley Springs is going to look very similar to this. And there will be some larger lots and some views and some, some back up to Greenbelt, but not as many as this one. So this one's highly sought after, it's a highly sought after area. As you can see, there's some of the green belt there, uh, and there, it's just close to everything. Like it's it's just a few minutes from the freeway, but it's still tucked back enough, and uh, very very walkable. Area. So I do really like this neighborhood. Uh, you know, it has a lot of good stuff for it. And we're actually um, going to head over to Presley Springs now. I'll just include them both in the same video just to show you. So now we're going out the other entrance. So we have Azalea and Presley Springs. So as we cut over, I mean, it's they're connected pretty much. So it's one might consider them the same, but you can see they're separated by a green belt. So we're heading down Blue Oaks towards Highway 65, just two minutes away from, uh, from the uh, movie theaters and uh, Chili's and the Seals and Bennett's and Grocery Outlet and all, a whole bunch of restaurants, Crunch Fitness, tons of stuff. So right here in Cressley Springs, this is a much larger community. We call elementary, elementary school will be in here. You're going to see lots of different types of homes. Some of these are built in the late 90s, some the early 2000s. And uh, you're going to see, you know, homes as big as uh, similar 3,600 square feet. Uh, and all the way down, they have some smaller ones here that might be around 1,500. There's the school right there. And uh, as you go around this neighborhood, lots of different types of homes, but what people like about this neighborhood is our, uh, the schools there, the parks, it is close to pretty much everything. All of the shopping, all of the food, uh, and so being close to the freeway, but still in a nice, well-developed area, uh, people tend to like that. But uh, this is the school here, and we'll kind of go back around as when we entered into Crystal Springs, it was a little bit newer. The houses were a little bit newer. And as we head back this other direction, 
we are going to see uh, the houses get a little bit older, mid 90s, early 90s, and uh, you know these these house prices are going to be very similar to Azalea. Just Azalea might sell a little bit higher than ones on the green belt. Um, there there are a lot of courts in Presse Springs, which I do like. There's several long courts, which uh, if you have a family, I, I have a family. I love uh, I live in a court and I love it. Um, so there are lots of courts here. And so it's one of those things where uh, this could be a great neighborhood with great schools uh, for you to take a look at. So uh, a surrounding area. So this is Crescent Springs. There's Azalea. There is also Rock Creek, which is just right over on the other side of Blue Oaks. Uh, I would say Rock Creek is not quite as spacious in most areas. There's kind of two sides of Rock Creek. Um, once you cross over Blue Oaks, you have that side, and then you cross over Park, and you have the other side. So the, the one on the other side of Park has a little bit more space. But you can see traditional style homes here. Some have two, two car garages, some have three, a few have four, not many. Um, a few different styles. Uh, you have uh, garages that are separated. You have the garages that are stag staggered. And this wasn't really a time where you had the uh, the tandem garages, so you're not going to see a lot of deep three-car tandems. You're going to see more of those separations uh, as before. So these houses being built when they are, some of the things you'll be looking for are uh, you know painting. So uh, a lot of these houses, if they haven't already, will be painting now or soon. The exterior. We're going to be looking at replacing the heater and AC units. As far as tile roofs, we have uh, we have concrete tile, so that's forever. That was actually Kathy Run Park, but it was beautiful. We have that. Um, lots of soccer fields there. They have a splash pad. It's really nice. So as you can see, this is a very walkable area. Um, wide streets, which are nice. This street can uh, lead out to um, to Lone Tree. And interestingly enough, if you're looking at a map, you could notice that Galleria and Roseville turns into Stanford Branch, then West Stanford Branch in Rockland, and then it turns into Lone Tree and then basically connects to itself. So there's a fun fact for you. But Top Golf is right down the street. Thunder Valley is a few minutes away. Restaurants all around. It's a great place to raise a family. Uh, I highly, highly recommend um, this area if you can snag a house in here. It's very, very nice. I used to live in here, and so I, I speak very highly of it. Very family friendly. And if you could snag a house in one of those courts, you are winning. But I have lived in Rockland for quite a while, so if you have any questions about the Rockland area, just call or text me. If you're curious about what houses are available, what the current prices are, these prices are going to be you know, in the mid-600s. Uh, all the way, uh, maybe low 600s even, all the way up to those uh, mid to high nines in some cases, uh, almost a million dollars. Uh, and that's common to what it is, but you get a feel for the different types of houses. Most houses are going to be stucco in this area. Houses after 1990 almost were specifically all stucco. Yellow car. I can't say I've ever owned a yellow car. So pretty common to see houses out on the street. Uh, there is no HOA here, which is nice. There is some Mel Roos, but uh, there a lot of people use their garages. They either have boats or storage or gyms. Um, there are quite a few gyms in the area, so not a necessity not to have your gym in the garage. But oh, almost hit that guy running across. Basketball courts, surprisingly, no kids. There usually are quite a few kids out there. But not right now, because they are in school. So I'm curious what you think about this community and how it measures up to the others. Let me know in the comments. Uh, and if there's an area in Rockland that you'd like to see, uh, or a surrounding area that you'd like me to tour, just let me know. Should you call or text, put it in the comments. 
and would love to do that for you. That's about it because we are heading out to Lone Tree. So we're not going to be on Lone Tree. So there is where all the shopping starts, There's the UFC gym, all kinds of good stuff. Well, my name is Brandon. I'll see you on the next one.